I feel like recently the whole situation with streamers blatantly cheating on Twitch is becoming worse and worse because I think this is the third guy that I witnessed cheating live on Twitch within the past two weeks or so and I don't know it's just weird for me so I decided to expose a couple of people and uh, one of the guys actually realized that I exposed him he wrote me an email and uh, he said that he will take me to court, but we will get back to that a bit later. So let's talk about the first guy who actually got banned. Um, this fella right here, not jocks. Um, he is one of my viewers, so I've seen him in my chat pretty, pretty often. And this is very disappointing. Um, so there was a couple of clips of him blatantly cheating. However, he deleted all of them says 2022 years ago that's when the clip was created um and yeah you can't find the clips however there is one clip from tex watching um watching the clip of jugs so we can see a clip of jugs from tex so let's watch it oh there's the other killer farmer do we bonk him do we bonk him we try <laughs> uh, well, first of all, we don't know how he knows that there is a guy right there. He didn't make any sounds. There is no footstep, footsteps. Uh, but there is not the problem. The main problem is the fact that he's using no recall cheat. If you clearly look at his SVD, Do we bonk him. Do we bonk him? We try. He shoots with absolutely no recoil. I assembled exactly the same build he is using with SVD, and I'll show you how it looks if you don't use cheats. So we're gonna load into our hideout. And I'll show this to you. Once again, here's recoil. We try. And then the real recoil. Crouch, ADS, spam. I think you can see this very clearly. And I don't even need to do much comparison. Like, if you want to, I'll do a little comparison. Yeah, let's shoot. Let's shoot once again. We try. So this guy was reported to be his G and I think 10 days later after the submission of this clip he actually got banned as he says on his Twitch. Right. Yeah, my account got banned. Yeah, I peeped it. Oh, Fucking shit. Like, I, I thought you were just trolling at first and reset your account. That's why I was like, did you really get banned or... I, I, you know, I just thought maybe you reset your account. I was like, oh, I got banned, you know. So let's move to our second patient. So our second patient is the German guy by the name of Noodle. I'm sorry, my German is not really good. Uh, let's call him Toby. Toby is 29 years old and he plays Tarkov. And uh, he, also, he also deleted all of the evidence from his channel. However, I was uh, clever enough to record everything in advance. So we're gonna go through that in a moment. If we go to his videos on Twitch now, you can see that he deleted all the VODs of the past week and the most recent one is available... Um, the most recent one that's available is from 7 days ago. However, he did not delete all the evidence, he didn't delete his clips. So if we go to clips, there is a clip from 2 days ago where he has uh, no... Uh, no recall on his revolver. Uh, this is RS-12, the new revolver that's been added to the game and this is how it looks on his side. In case you, in case if you do not know how Arash um, 12 feels in the game, I'll show it to you in a second. Watch this. This is how much the gun kicks. So I've seen this clip yesterday, and I decided to investigate a bit more. Because um, some Russian streamers asked the question about this guy because apparently he was playing in some tournaments that involved uh, money and he came second in the Bush League Season 7, I believe. We're gonna talk about this later. So I was like, alright, I should look through his videos, uh, check if he's actually using no recall cheat and then we can do, well, some conclusions and report him to BSG, right? And while we were talking about this guy on Twitch, he actually came to my chat and uh, this is what he got to say. 
He came in, he said, hey there, got some really nice comments from your community. Anyways, I wrote you an email. I was like, all right, I'll check, I'll check the email out. I opened the email, I read a couple of sentences from the email, and he's saying that the email was not for public. And in the email, he confronts me and he was like, I'm gonna see you, bro. He made a couple of threats. And now he's like, so that's what you wish. Um, I was like, bro, like you're clearly cheating. We've got plenty of proof. And he says, it's not proof, but what you do is calumny and you can't tell public what written is in the emails. That's two times against the law. So apparently if I expose somebody for cheating, uh, where the guy is clearly cheating, uh, in Germany, that is an offense. And apparently, if he writes me an open email, uh, I can't read that email in public. Because apparently, that is against the German law as well. Um, so, yeah, he says, privacy of letters. Never heard about this. No, I actually never heard about that, bro. The fact that I can't read an email to... Yeah, it's just... Anyway, um, I don't need to explain you anything. I think it's your opinion. You can't prove it. You can come to me and prove it if you want. Uh, and I was like, bro, all right, dude. I'll buy you a ticket to Russia. Let's go to Russian court. He's like, when will I come? Uh, then we talked a bit about the tournaments, uh, and he says, so my dog cam has to turn into a screen proof cam. I, I think he means like he will, like, he can record his screen that he's not cheating. Uh, and then I show him the clips, I uh, prove that he's using no recoil cheat, and he's like, I don't know, but there is so much recoil. He says that I've got too much recoil. The guy doesn't even realize that he's level 57 and I'm level 65. And my recoil skill is level 36, while his recoil control is level 25. So even hypothetically, um, his skills are lower than mine, so his recoil can't be any better if we're using the same uh, the same builds. Um, and he says that my my community called him racist and other things. Um, German government cares about calumny and privacy of letters, so just stay on the law. I have nothing against you, man. Maybe you do the right thing, but don't force me to report. Have a good one. Uh, uh, so yeah, he keeps talking a lot about the German the, the German government. Uh, my German is not really good, but I know that this uh, this little piece of shiza clearly messed up. And right now, I'll get to the proof section. Actually, you know what? Let me show you the email first. So the, this is the email I received from the guy. I'll probably blur some things out. Uh, hey there, I was wondering why random guys joining my stream chat offline and discord writing things like something bad, something bad. Uh, Axel will roost you and you'll get banned anyways. Uh, you'll get banned anyways. A little bit sad that some of the comments of your community, but that's not the point. I clearly, I clearly do not support hate speech. I don't support people going to different chats and uh, typing bad things. Uh, and I will never ask anybody to do this. So yeah, I, I, don't, I don't like this stuff. Anyway, so another thing, I don't know how the law in your country is, but in my country, what you have done is calumny, and I can enforce this if I want, because you got no proof that I cheat. The clip is although not a proof. There you need a leak or anything else, so it's a calumny. If you won't stop, maybe I have to do this. That's not normally in my mood, and I don't want to scare you, uh, but I don't appreciate the reactions, what you perceive with your community there, even if you don't want my... Even if you don't know my esport background from a semi-professional CSS player 18 years ago. I can easily now make a video with the same content, one with recall control and one without, to get my community flame towards you, but why should I do that? Anyways, I wish you a good one. Um, so yeah. He keeps saying that stuff. And funnily enough, while I was, uh, while I was uh, streaming on Twitch, um, he also reported my Twitch. And we can easily know this from that email. Hello Axel, reference number. Your content was reported by a user in the region where uh, NetsDG is applicable. Basically this happens when somebody from Germany reports you. Twitch, uh, Twitch has to let you know. After reviewing your activity or content, we didn't find any violations, but we're required under the legislation to inform you of the report. And that happened on April 13th, um, 2 p.m. UTC. So he also reported my Twitch. All right, I guess now it's time to show you the proof, and uh, you can let me know. <laughs> you can let me know what you think about this guy. Exactly the same build I'm using. He's using stock G28 with the razor sight. He's using a foregrip and a uh, updated or well, upgraded pistol grip, right? And I'm using exactly the same gun. Look, this is exactly the same build he's using. All right, bro, nice recoil. Let's see how it looks from my perspective. You see the difference? Oh. 
part number two. Part number two. So this time we'll be checking his SA58. I've got exactly the same build as he does, as you can see. He's got like the meta meta SA but allowed version. And that's exactly what I'm using. Our builds are identical. And I'm running MAT same as same as he does. All right, I'll try my best to control the recoil. I'll, I will literally try my best to control now. But as you can see, I have to move my camera down. You can literally see that my whole screen camera is moving down when I'm controlling his recoil. He's not controlling his recoil at all. His camera, his camera recoil stands still, look at this. You see? He's not, he's not pulling down. He's not pulling down. You see this? There is no recall at all. Look at this. Yeah, God. Oh God, I did your legs. Excuse me. Okay. From seven days ago. And if you go to his channel, that's actually the most recent one because he deleted the rest of them. Past broadcasts, there we go, seven days ago. So this is the most recent one. And in this, uh, on this stream, he actually wasn't using any recoil cheats and you can clearly see it from his recoil. You can see how much his gun bounces. He, it bounces way more compared to the previous clips. There is clearly, there is clearly no recoil. <laughs> so funny to kill players with cheats, right? So Tiggs, one of Tarkov streamers, also sent this whole situation yesterday and uh, Tiggs is a higher level than me and he decided to do some additional testing as well. And uh, Tix has much higher skills than I do. So keep that in mind. The 58 glitch. Dude, 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 dude. This is just crazy. It doesn't even look like he's shooting. You can see the difference straight away. And this is the other thing Tix shared with me yesterday. Apparently, not Jux, our first uh, patient. Uh, he was using some cheats and he was also selling them and he scammed a lot of people with their detectable cheats for us and other games. And apparently right now he's running PC Radar with no recoil and it runs on kernel and won't be shown in the task manager. So that's a piece of information we got. Uh, well, that's more of a rumor. So uh, if you want to believe this, feel free to. If not, then no, because I got no proof for that. However, um, yeah. So I think the evidence for the our German guy cheating is uh, beyond needed. And right now you have to be legally blind not to see that the guy is cheating. And um, yeah, I guess I'm getting sued now. I'm going to be taken to a uh, court, court, court in Germany. I really wonder what the German government is gonna think about the guy who cheated to get uh, money. The guy who cheated in the competition for um, for the cash incentive as our guy came second in the Bush League. I'm not sure how many tournaments he played and how much money he made in the tournaments. But this is a really sad thing that people like this are able to participate and win some cash while other players that I've known for a while... Um, came fourth. For example, Kirsanov is a really great player. We, um, we've we played the Twitch Rivals, an official Twitch tournament with Kirsanov, and we managed to win it. And he came fourth. And if not our German uh, German guy, 
his son would have been third and he might have won something. So things like this really do make me sad and I think people like this have to be exposed in the community. I don't think the guy is gonna sue me, he's just buffing, uh, buffing, bluffing. And in any case, um, I really wonder what German law states about scamming, scamming for money. Uh, about using unfair advantage to win something. I'm pretty sure there is a law that he's breaking. Anyway, um, we are more or less done. Thank you, Tix, for helping out yesterday. I'll leave his socials in the description. Feel free to check him out. And if you got any questions for me, I'll be live on Twitch probably when you're watching this video. So feel free to pop in and ask if you got any questions. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. <laughs>